Hey, what's up everyone? Game Dad here, and I am now back from the Cleveland Gaming Classic 2023. Had a super awesome time and found some really cool stuff, and I wanted to share my pickups with all of you. So, we are going to dive in and check out the things that I picked up while at CGC 2023 this year. Now, first up, before the show even started, I was able to snag a couple of really cool pickups. Now, a few years ago, I was able to get a Vectrex complete in box and all kinds of goodies with it, but as anyone with a Vectrex knows, uh, it's actually notorious for having controllers that break. So instead of having to constantly look for new controllers, which are insanely expensive, or constantly having to repair the ones that I have, I went ahead and found BD Retro's, uh, it's BD Retro Mods, his booth that he had there, that's Brian, and he makes amazing aftermarket controllers for basically everything. He had so many different controllers, but was able to pick up an actual like Vectrex, like arcade stick style uh, controller. Got some really nice buttons. Got a really nice clicky joystick on there, and now I can use this, which is much more reliable than the original controller, so that's awesome. And while I was there, I also was able to pick up for a very reasonable price an EverDrive 64. Now, this is the Nintendo uh, 64 EverDrive. Uh, you can load up your ROMs on there. I have the ability to dump ROMs with some of my other hardware. And this makes it so I don't have to put a bunch of wear and tear on my actual physical games. It also makes it a lot easier for capturing footage because I can just plug this in and go. So I finally have an EverDrive 64 and am very excited that I have that. Now, in further exploring of the show floor, I am always on the lookout for Wii U games and N64 games. That way I can complete those sets. And I finally found one. I've never actually seen it in the wild before, so I was really excited. It was a really decent price, but that is Wii Sports Club. Now, the regular Wii Sports games or Wii Sports U Easy to find, they're everywhere. Wii Sports Club, significantly more difficult to find, but thankfully it wasn't a super expensive game. But was able to pick that one up. And then I also found this little, like, handheld micro arcade thing of uh, Dance Dance Revolution. Um, and I just thought that that was really cool. It's only got three songs on it. It's not very loud, but it's a fun little game. I mean, the, the little buttons light up when you press them. They're very tactile. Um, so cool little thing to uh, have on a shelf anytime I want to rock out one of three songs in DDR. Now, a couple more items before we get into the actual big haul that I got. Uh, first, I found this neat little uh, crystal tower, dice tower thing. Uh, so it says it takes probably around 30 minutes to put the thing together, but I thought that was kind of neat. It'd be a nice little uh, shelf item, or if I'm playing any kind of tabletop games or anything, got a nice clear uh, acrylic dice tower. I was also able to find an Atari XE game that I didn't have. This is a uh, hardball for the Atari XE, so kind of fun to find more games for that. Then, before we get to the really big haul that's sitting here just off camera, I have a separate video coming on what is inside of this box right here. What I will say is that it comes from Glenn's Retro Show. Um, he makes amazing products. If you have ever gotten an arcade one up and gotten aftermarket hardware for it, likely it was something that he made, uh, unless it was garbage, then it probably wasn't his. But I'll give you a sneak peek if you can see it through the plastic there. Uh, but this is coming in a later unboxing and kind of put together video, but I am very excited about this and I'm not sure if it's officially released yet or if it was about to release. I don't remember what he said, but I am very excited for a future video on that right there. And last up for the pickups, I had to go back to Brian's table over at BD Retro Mods and pick up one of these joysticks right here. This is for a TI-99 4A. Uh, the reason I had to go pick this up is because I didn't have a controller for a TI-99 um, and now all of a sudden I need one because here's the other pickup right here. So I was able to score a full TI-99 complete in box, uh, all the stuff and let's see, 12 pieces of software slash games for it and then I actually found a uh, pole position at another booth so that was kind of cool get another game for it. But We'll get to the actual TI-99 in a second. I will go ahead and show you the different softwares that I got. So right here we have Teach Yourself Basic. Uh, we have the Personal Real Estate Command Module. Uh, we have the game Parsec, and all of these are complete in box. They have everything in them. 
We have TI Invaders, very cool. Let's see, what else we got here? Uh, we have Football, then we have Blackjack and Poker. Uh, we have Blasto, looks like some sort of tank game. That's kind of cool. We have the Terminal Emulator 2, and this actually allows you to communicate with other people that have a TI-99 and the Terminal Emulator. So that's pretty cool. Uh, think, you know, texting back in the 80s. Uh, then we have the Tax Investment Record Keeping Software. We have Indoor Soccer. Uh, we've got Video Chess and we've got video graphs and all of that goes to the ti-99 that i got in box but before we open the box and i show you the ti-99 in there i actually wanted to check this one out because this actually went over a phone line now my house doesn't have a phone line in it uh it's not exactly a common thing anymore for obvious reasons but i thought that this was so cool yeah Terminal Emulator 2, just a nice little piece of TI-99 software right there. Gives you all of the instructions here. Oh man, it gives you all kinds of things. Uh, it gives you some sort of little strip thing that I guess goes onto the system in some way. Uh, TextNet Information Service, a special edition of the source with many extra features designed specifically for users of the TI home computer. And with all of these, kind of a neat way of doing the box art. This is the actual like manual instruction pamphlet, whatever, for uh, this piece of software. And that's how they all were. The manual was the box art. This is just like an opening right here. So that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and check out the TI-99 itself. Now, the box is in kind of rough shape. It is extremely old, so I get it. But this was a fraction of the cost of the one at the booth I was at right before. They had one loose, no box, eh, no software, no nothing, and they wanted like 300 bucks for it, which is absolutely insane. It was either 200 or 300, uh, and this one, eh, it was 60 bucks. So yeah, obviously I'm gonna go with the one in the box that's cheaper. So we'll go ahead and open this up. I assume there used to be some sort of extra cardboard or foam in there. There is no longer that, and boy does this smell old. Uh, but here we go. My very own and first TI-99. Slide the uh, software right in there. We got a little expansion port on the side, I'm assuming for modem, cassette deck, things like that. You have your power connector and a controller port. You have, what is that, a 5-din connector there for something. Uh, and what I'm assuming is another controller port. Um, but very, very cool. And you know what, I wonder, I think this is probably where that little mag strip from the terminal thing went. But this is neat. I'm, I, I don't know what it is about really old hardware like this, but I just, I like getting it and seeing where things came from to where they are now. But there you have it, everyone. That is all of my pickups from the Cleveland Gaming Classic 2023. And if you like today's video and you wanna check out my video of that convention, then go ahead and check out this link right here. And as always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you later.